Hey, what's up everybody? Jeff Blake here. Today we're talking about Zoomify objects in Photoshop CS3. Zoomify, what the heck is Zoomify? Well, it's a new feature here in Photoshop CS3. And what it is, is it's a flash object that's created for us out of Photoshop that we can then embed onto a web page. And we can obviously, hence the name, we can zoom in on this graphic, we can pan around inside it, we can explore around inside it. It's pretty cool stuff. And best of all, it's a short and sweet topic as well. So it won't take us too long to actually get this thing to work. So check this out. I've got myself a map here of Yellowstone National Park. There it is right there. And it's a fairly large image. I'm actually gonna go into my image size dialog box. I'm not even 100% sure how large this guy is. There he is there. 2,664 pixels by 2,836 pixels. Pretty massive file. Now, you'll wanna have a pretty large file as well if you wanna do this. And think of the possibilities here. Imagine if you had like, I don't know, like a photograph of a galaxy or a map or downtown or something like that. And you wanna be able to zoom in and out on it, that kind of thing, it's pretty cool stuff. Now, to get this to work, your image, the graphic that you're gonna be using has to be in the RGB color mode. So I can tell at the top on my title bar that I am indeed in the RGB color space. So I'm all ready to go here. So I'm gonna to head to my Zoomify export command. Now, you can find that if you choose file, Head down to export and look for Zoomify. There he is there. All right, good stuff. Now, the first thing that you'll wanna do is decide on the template that you'd like to use for your Zoomify object. Now, this won't really make a whole lot of sense if this is the first time that you're doing this, but you may wanna come back here and experiment a little bit. This really depends on the color of the background that your Zoomify object is gonna sit on. I'm gonna go with the default here, just the black background, but you can choose whichever one you want. You may wanna experiment with this navigator. See how it's a Zoomify viewer with navigator? You get a little navigator window inside the Zoomify object if you go with that. So anyway, I'm gonna go with the black background. Now I gotta choose an output location. So I'm gonna click on folder here and I'm gonna go and decide where I wanna go and save this file. So I'm gonna head up to my desktop and I've created for myself a Zoomify folder. Now, the reason why Photoshop wants to know where to save the object, this is the cool part, is Photoshop is not only gonna save the Zoomify object, in other words, it's gonna create the flash object for us automatically, but the other thing that Photoshop is gonna do is create all the necessary HTML code that the object needs to actually run inside a web browser. And you, as the creator, as the designer, you don't need to to know anything about Flash or HTML. It's pretty cool stuff. So navigate to your folder. I'm gonna click on choose here. Now in the base name field, you can type in a name for the HTML file that Photoshop is gonna create for you. I'm just gonna leave the default here. Mine's called Yellowstone. You can type in whatever you like there. That's perfectly fine. Underneath that, I can decide on my output images quality. This is exactly like saving out a JPEG from Photoshop. So you know what? I'm gonna go all out. I'm gonna go maximum quality there, 12. Okay, and then down at the bottom here, I can decide on the size of the Zoomify object that I actually wanna create inside my web page. So if I'm gonna drop the Zoomify object into an existing page, maybe I already know the space that this object is gonna fit inside. I could come in here, type in the width and height in pixel values. So here, I'm gonna type in, uh, I'm gonna go with 500 by 500, just to give myself a little bit of extra space. Something like that. And then down at the bottom, open in web browser. Make sure this guy's checked because once we save this out, we'll be able to see it right away inside our web browser. So we are ready to go here. We've chosen an output folder. We've given it a name. We've decided on our quality settings and on our object size. Go ahead and click on OK. Photoshop does its thing. Your web browser launches, and there's my Zoomify object. There's my Yellowstone map inside the Zoomify object. Now, let me show you how this thing works. This is pretty cool. So first of all, I have a little slider down here which I can use to actually zoom in on my image. How cool is that? And notice how it refreshes there. So I'm zooming, 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 refresh. Zoom, 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 
refresh. Isn't that awesome? I can drag around inside this guy here. Think about where you could use this. Where could you use this? How could this in some way get you a raise <laughs> or uh, maybe get you in with a certain client? I don't know. Anyway, you can zoom out using the little minus, zoom in using the little plus there pan around using these little arrow guys here or reset using this little fella here I think you can also there it is I'm just clicking here just to zoom in as well there isn't that cool anyway totally awesome imagine like a piece of artwork or a really highly detailed photograph or something like that so pretty cool stuff now you know what it doesn't end here we got to take this guy this zoomify page this zoomify object and open them up inside dreamweaver i got to show you what's actually going on here maybe we'll do a couple of quick customizations to this as well so you know what i've already got dreamweaver running in the background here he's all ready to go so i'm going to go and open up that file that photoshop created for me so i'm just going to go file open into that zoomify folder there it is yellowstone.html now notice too that I won't go into massive detail here, but notice that Photoshop created this little subfolder for me as well. So, you know, if I wanted to upload this live onto the web, I got to make sure that this Yellowstone underscore IMG folder goes with the Yellowstone.html page. In other words, the two have to stay together in order for this to work. Okay, so I'm going to grab my Yellowstone.html, click on open. Now you might get a little warning here. I'm just gonna say no, I'm just gonna bypass this here. Now this large, seemingly useless gray box in the middle of my screen, that's my Zoomify object. Now let me show you a couple of quick things here. I'm gonna single click on this guy and then head into Dreamweaver's code view. I'll show you how these things are structured. All right, so right at the top of my screen here, right at the top of my code, you can see that I have a background color my black background color, which is actually set for the body of my document. So Photoshop did that by default for me. The other thing that it did is it created a div for me. There it is there, whose alignment is set to center. And then inside that div, I have a table with a background color on it as well. And then inside that table, I have another table with another background color. And then finally, the flash object itself, the Zoomify object itself. So that's how everything is structured here in the code. Now, let's do some real quick, real simple customizations to this guy. I'm going to go back into the design view. There we are. I'm going to change my background color, I've decided, the background color for my page. So uh, I'm just going to hit Command-J here on the Mac, Control-J on the Windows side. There's my background color right there. So maybe I'll change this to a, to a gray color here, something like that. Going with a gray theme here in my page. Now let me show you this. I'm just gonna save this here and head back to my web browser, Firefox here. Refresh, you can see, now this black strip here, that's inside the Zoomify object. I can't really do too much about that. But look at this black strip along the bottom here. And this whole powered by Zoomify, I don't know if I like that. I mean, I really dig their object, but I don't know if I want to advertise for them for free on my website, if you know what I mean. So check this out. I'm going to go back to Dreamweaver. That's right in here. If I single click on that text in there. Now, the funny thing is, if I single click in there, and if I look down on my status bar here in Dreamweaver, this area here is called the tag selector. He'll basically tell you how your page is structured, right? So if I single click on table here, there's actually a nested table down at the bottom here. So I just single click down on table and I can see that there's something highlighted in there. Now what I could do is I could change the background color of the table to match the background color of my page. 